Okay, everyone. Um, we are go going to do a quick tutorial workout. Uh, comparing this is what's called a shootout of two microphones, and I hope you can hear me pretty good. It may actually be a little bit soft, so I'm getting like really, really up close to this microphone. Um, in the shootout, we want to compare two different microphones. Um, this one that I'm wiggling right here is a standard SM57. Um, it's a dynamic microphone, uh, rugged, generally used for live sound. Of course, some studio stuff as well. Um, very standard issue, probably $100 at the most microphone. I'm lining it up right now with this, which is a uh, studio style uh, condenser microphone. Um, this is modeled after an AKG C414. Um, this is a student built microphone, but it is a great example of a condenser. This is dynamic, so we're going to shoot out the condenser and the dynamic. A few things I want you to note. Um, as I play my saxophone here in a second, we're shooting for these two green bars to be about the same. We want the volumes to be equal if we're going to be uh, testing the microphones. You will always perceive a louder microphone as sounding better, so just bear that in mind. Uh, we want to monitor both to make sure we're hearing them, and we want both to be recorded enabled so that they are um, clear to the um, to record both at the same time. So with that being said, I'm going to play some saxophone and record it, and then we're going to go back and listen to it. This Audio 1 track is this dynamic microphone right here, and the Audio 2 is the silver-capped condenser. Here we go. Just checking to make sure they're about the same. Okay, so now we're going to go back and test and see kind of what we think. Um, which microphone sounds better? And I say better in quotes because it's really important that we understand that the microphones are just used for different purposes. So as an audio engineer, you should consider that um, a microphone choice is an artistic tool. It's like picking which paintbrush to use in a painting. So just bear that in mind. Neither one of them is bad. We just want to know which one we like better. So here is the SM57. That's this microphone. You should have just heard a shift in my vocal pattern. That's because this microphone has a different audio signature. Less uh, very low end and less high end. Um, very high end. So see what you think here. <laughs> Okay, so that was the performance with the SM57. Now let's switch microphones. Now we're listening to the AKG C414 mock-up. You should have heard my voice switch again now that we're soloing this mic. Uh, it's a little richer, especially on the bottom end. Let's see how it does with the saxophone. Okay, so in that recording, you should have heard that there is a lot more detail to the sound. Um, it's crisper, it's a little fuller, warmer, maybe you could consider. Um, I would love to know what your thoughts are in the comments of this video. Feel free to express some comments about which microphone you like better 
or maybe better yet, you say which microphone you would use for what purpose. Um, this is more of a studio style microphone. This is more of a live style microphone, but um, I'll leave it up to you to write what you would use each for. Uh, have a great day. Hope this was fun.